The bill that could give L.A. one of the state's first safe injection sites for drug users is on its way to Governor Gavin Newsom's desk. Yeah, the bill will replace places for people to take drugs with sterilized supplies and have a trained staff on hand to assist anyone in the event of an overdose. KTLA 5 Sandra Mitchell is live with more on what services would entail. Sandra. Pedro, Mary Beth, the idea here is to get drug users off the streets and into a safe place to shoot up. They provide things like uh, clean needles, anti-overdose drugs, uh, and the idea already in place in Rhode Island, New York City, and now it appears that cities here in California, we're talking Oakland, San Francisco, and L.A., could be next. In the shadows near Skid Row, what looks like a storefront, a place where addicts come to get clean needles and detox medication. This is not a safe injection site. California doesn't have any of those yet. You know, right now, people are using drugs on our streets, shooting up in plain sight in front of our kids in front of people's homes and parks, in front of businesses. Senator Scott Wiener wants to change that. The California legislature has passed his bill to legalize drug injection sites. If the governor signs it, L.A. could become one of three California cities to open the supervised sites. The goal here is, instead of using in front of the public, to get them to go inside to a safe, healthy, clean setting. But critics say it is the wrong approach to curb illegal drug use. Addicts are not good at delayed gratification. If I've got my needles clean or dirty, if I've got my drugs safe or unsafe, I'm going to shoot up wherever I am. Law enforcement warns that areas with the facilities are often flooded with even more illegal drugs. One of the first things that happens is drug traffickers come into the area because that's where customers will be drawn. The CDC recorded more than 10,000 California drug overdose deaths in 2021. That's an increase of 29 percent from just the year before. The senator says what we're doing right now is not working and safe injection sites could save lives. People are still using drugs. People are still getting addicted. People are still dying. So the war on drugs and arresting people for drugs is, has been an abysmal failure and a massive waste of taxpayer dollars. So, Sandra, I know many are wondering, you know, is the governor likely to sign this into law? Here's what we know about that, Mary Beth. It will be on his desk by the end of this week. Then he'll have 12 days to act on it. He has spoken out in support of similar programs, but he hasn't yet said if he will sign this. By the way, it also would uh, need approval here on the local level. We are talking the city, city council and the county board of supervisors, but they actually uh, requested that they be part of this special program, the pilot program. So it is likely if the governor signs it, it will also get approved on the local level.